first showed up in Deutschland, camping on the Rhine. The first town that I went to was also the first sign of the kind of self-reflection that had gone on around here. Indications everywhere, so shiny and so clear. Look down at the sidewalk where a little light is shown and you stumble upon a stumbling stone. Stumble upon a stumbling stone. What did this place once look like? Who lived on this block? It can't be recreated, but you can partially take stock. Look down at the sidewalk for a little bronze square. Read the words engraved upon it that says who was living there before they were taken away to the dark unknown. And you stumble upon a stumbling stone. Stumble upon a stumbling stone. Little squares all over. You'll find them all around, not much information on them, and they don't make a sound. But if your imagination is anything like mine, then all you need to trigger it is one lone Stoker Stein. Take a moment to remember, as you look down from your phone, when you stumble upon a stumbling stone, stumble upon stumbling stone. There are six little squares here, one for each member of one family that was taken. One morning in December, the youngest child was two, the eldest one was ten. Within a year, each one of them had died at Saxonhausen. Their bodies burnt to ashes, flesh and blood and bone, when you stumble upon a stumbling stone, stumble upon a stumbling stone. Every time I see them, I wish I would see more embedded in the sidewalks on so many other shores. Just one stone to remember each one who met their fate at all the slave plantations in all the torture states. But for some, it's safer to just leave the dead alone when you stumble upon a stumbling stone. Stumble upon a stumbling stone. Stumble upon a stumbling stone.